All my real niggas with a day job Get your bread, don't worry about dust Seem like world star, the only ones concerned about dust Nah, anyone could be famous for one day Then wake up and go to work Monday Cash rules everything around me I guess it makes sense that the labor lane found me With the work, two plugs, two cousins, two glocks Same nigga one day gon' win a Grammy They always try and put me in a box Like don't snap, don't talk, that gun talk That cop two, can you throw me one talk? All that homie son talk, get your only homie chalk I'm lighting up the motherfucking blunt cuz Cause he really ain't cool like he once was Your favorite rapper try and get his fucks up Chasing every dollar just so he could throw them ones up I'm lighting up the motherfucking blunt cuz Cause he really ain't cool like he once was Your favorite rapper try and get his fucks up Chasing every dollar just so he could throw them ones up I'm lighting up the motherfucking blunt cuz Lighting up the motherfucking blunt cuz Blunt cuz Your favorite rapper try and get his fucks up Chasing every dollar just so he could throw them ones up What up, what up? It's your boy J Bill, man Catch me on Instagram at the real J Bill Twitter, same thing, at the real J Bill And catch me on my website, www.therealjbill.com We right here locked in at House Studios With my boy Pat is dope, man VA This Pat is dope, but I'm here with J Bill Let's talk about this tape right here Man, this is forever. That's my latest take, man. Uh, I got a lot of good response off this online, man. We went bronze on that piff. Mm -hmm. You know, I got a couple features, and uh, that's it, man. And we just pushing this, man. But, uh, predominantly R&B, but okay. we spiced it up with a little hip hop, though. Okay, a little Trey songs, right? A little mm -hmm. Chris Brown. So, what do you like? What do you like best about being an artist? Is it the singing aspect? Is it the rapping with the message aspect? Is it the fashion? Is it, you know, trying to get the ladies to buy into what you're doing? What do you like most or enjoy most about being a, a artist with, with, with many times? Um, yeah, man, I, I was definitely blessed with the, with the voice. So the reaction from the ladies is pretty much the strong point on what I do it for, you know? It's definitely all about keeping it a buck, you know, and doing it for where I come from. But at the same time, my music is predominantly geared towards the ladies, man. Most doubt. So where are you from? Virginia? What part? How is it out there? How different is it from D.C. and Maryland? Give me the whole rundown of your story. I mean, Manassas, Virginia, it's a small town, man. Everybody really knows everybody. And um, mm -hmm. right now, the music scene is kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. You know, I did my thing, and I buzzed off online. And, you know, I inspired a lot of other people from around my way to really do it. So at the end of the day, man, it's tough because music and labels, they're not really coming to Manassas, Virginia to check for artists. So I'm in a lane where I got to do it independently, and I got to grind and really make my name in areas like D.C. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with the DMV, Scene coming up, you know, I, I really got to do what I got to do, but putting out mixtapes and linking up with, with people like you and getting involved with these different projects and these artists, man, has really helped me out and made my name coming from Manassas. As you inspire others, what inspires you? Musically, um, just, just trying to be a better artist, better person, what inspires you? Yeah, definitely trying to be a better person because this game can take you down roads that's definitely not good for you so you always got to stay grounded mm -hmm. stay humble you know and uh my goal more or less is not for the present not what i can do right now but when i'm dead you know my music can live forever so if i can try to just make music that can be played 10 20 30 years down the road hundreds of years down the road timeless shit that's what i like what's in your ipod right now man my ipod consists of one michael jackson that's a, I, I get a lot of grief for playing michael jackson too i don't much. even really and I, I think about it like this what would i listen to remember the time what's your favorite michael jackson song ah uh, damn there's so many i would have to say human nature mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That one just, the melody catches me off rip, man, and you know how many people done sampled that thing, so. No stop. We about to head into 2015. Oh, 2015. Uh, biggest goal, resolution, for yourself, one, and the artist situation. Uh, my biggest goal for 2015, I want to make $500,000 independently, mm -hmm. and... I definitely want to get major distribution. Why five hundred thousand? I mean, cause I didn't made a hundred thousand. How? All right, let us let us know. Okay, okay. Let us know how you made a hundred thousand. Being an independent artist, right now in a game where it's dominated by hip hop, dominated by politics, dominated who has more money to start up, and dominated by the connections. How did you make it? Relationships. Mm -hmm. Man, any independent artist, I would give. Same advice, relationships, man. You gotta go out here, you gotta get in these major demographics, and you really just gotta show your face. You know, if you got real music that speaks for itself and you got character that can hand, uh, stand up in this game, you're gonna do all right. But um, at the end of the day, it's not about the money, man. It's about the relationships. And that'll take you much further, man, having your game face and your business set up so your voice is worth something. So people can't just approach, hey, jump on this, hop on this. It's like, nah, you got to go through the proper protocol, man. We're doing this thing independent, but we're going to do it the right way. We ain't just going to have stuff. What do you struggle in being an artist right now? What's the number one thing that you hate about being an independent artist and it's just like the biggest struggle? Um, I mean, I would say just being from where I'm from and the process of getting the radio to support, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, a lot of people hear my music and the first thing they say is, why ain't you on the radio? Mm -hmm. why, why haven't you, why haven't you made it to the radio yet? And it's really a question that I can't answer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting for that exposure, I'm fighting for that recognition and I'm gonna keep on doing it. And I feel like 2015 is gonna be it, but radio, man, I wanna touch that. I wanna get, I wanna get that. Who you want to work with in the game? It could be R&B, it could be mm. rap. Who do you, who, if, if this was a joint venture, J. Bill and... Another artist? Yeah, who is the first person you would send that email to? Right now, I feel like I could do a dope project and it would mean a lot too, just because of how I grind. I feel like it parallel, but Big Crit. Mm -hmm. I feel like if me and him sat down and really worked on some music, it would be epic, man. He represents what I represent, being independent and really doing the grassroots and building your fan base. You know, I just happen to do R&B more, but I still keep it hip-hop, so I feel like we can mold and do something crazy. Most of What are you wearing right now? What, you in Manassas, Virginia, and you know, you, you got online shopping, but it's a lot about, your style originates a lot about where you from, you know, right. where you, how you grow up and stuff. So let's talk about your style and, and what you wearing right now. Uh, right now, I'm wearing my own clothing line, Hard okay. Grind Apparel. Okay. Yeah, man, me and my partner started that, mm -hmm. and uh, we plan to do that crazy in 2015, too. Okay. And I got my brand, Nothing Bad. Mm -hmm. You see on my hat, you see on my chain, man. That's a, It derived from a single that I had made, but it really took on the buzz of its own because I did a lot of merchandising mm -hmm. with it. So people just gravitated towards it. So, you know, I'm just repping Hard Grind, and I'm repping Nothing Bad. That's going to carry me through the game. Baddest bitch in the game right now. You seeing on Instagram and you and you just if, if it was cool to be thirsty, if you if you was a lame nigga, you could be thirsty. Who would you be thirsty for? Who would I be thirsty? And I need a for? and I need a hell of a reason. All right, I would say I would have to say who gets me? Who gets me? Mm. Right now, I would have to say it's Tiana Taylor. And why? Just because she's heavy with uh, she's heavy with her fashion game, and she's heavy with a lot of things that she does as far as branding herself and, and doing her own thing. Like, mm -hmm. I always respect females that's multifaceted, not just bad. Mm -hmm. She has talent. She has a good mind and a good business sense about herself. Plus, she's making moves. And I actually got to see her in person, and the body is really like it looks on, on the gram, so I can stand her. Give me 24 hours a, a day in your life, a, a typical day where if you could plan, I'm not going to say 24 hours, just give me a, 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 
8 a.m. wake up, perfect day in your life. Everything you would want to do if you can get it all done. Because, you know, niggas like us, we be hustling, we be on the grind. We can't really, you know, we don't have enough right. time. Right. So give me give me that, that, that 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. Of my perfect day. Of your perfect day. All right, perfect day for me. I wake up at about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Tiana Taylor mm -hmm. cooked it for me. Mm -hmm. So that's a quick hour of my day. And then uh, after that, you know, somebody is going to be out here with some money for me. Okay. So I would go get that mm -hmm. so I could have at least a little budget for my day. Go out. Mm -hmm. After I get fresh, man, it's straight to the studio. You can't start a day off right unless you done got some work done. When, when, when rappers go to the studio, I'm trying to figure out, like, do they always use a song from that they recorded at that time, a studio session? Because rappers seem to be in the studio all day. So you in the studio from 2 p.m. to 8? Yeah. Then it's, the, it's time to go out, right? Oh, yeah. We'll be going at Manassas, Virginia to find the baddest females. Mm, we don't go to Manassas, Virginia to find the baddest females. Re big respect to the females in Manassas and it's from Manassas because I love y'all. Y'all helped me to get where I'm from, but I don't go to Manassas to look for my ladies. I go to D.C. and I go to Miami and I go to the West Coast. Most definitely. And soon I'll be going out the country, but... DC man, the nice spots. I love park, man. It's 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 a it's a nice scene for me, man. It's more mm -hmm. grown and sexy, more international, man. I, I like Mark Barnes. He throws a nice party, man. Man, let them know where they can find you. Let them know where they can download the tape. Let them know anything else, man. You conclude this interview, man. Yeah, J. Bill, you see me, man. I just chopped it up with my man Pat. Is dope. We got the mixtape, this is forever on live mixtapes and that pick, man. Strong, certified bronze already. So we're gonna continue to grow that. Mm -hmm. My new project, man, is coming up. I just played him a couple of the new singles off that. Hoping to get a good response. Like I said, you're gonna catch Hard Ground Apparel in store soon. But right now, man, we just working on new samples and getting the fall gear out. So stay tuned for that. And definitely uh Look for me, man. I'm, I'm looking to make a name for myself and, and stamp what I represent in the DMV. You know, I've done a lot of groundwork and work with pretty much everybody in the DMV. So right now is uh, my time to shine. 2015, man. We putting on. Man, it's probably stuff when we out. Nothing bad. Hard grind.